Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are definitely gonna be playing with color. Color, glitter, black, lashes, definitely gonna be going all out today for today's eyeshadow tutorial. Why not, let's play with some glitter and with some color. I really wanted to sit down today and play. This eye is definitely very exotic, it's very out there. Um, but again, keep in mind, you can definitely switch out the colors. You don't have to use the exact same colors as I am in today's eyeshadow um, tutorial. You can definitely mix and match and use whatever you wanna use. So for today's eyeshadow tutorial, I did use two palettes today and they are from Morphe. Um, I did go back and forth, um, so I went into the new Morphe palette. This one is the, um, what's it called? Artistry palette. So this is the one that came out um, a while ago, actually. So I'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can see all the colors. It is so stunning. The only ones that I did use today are over here, sorry these two right here and then this shade right there those are the three ones that i use oh and actually this one too so those are all the colors that i use for today's eyeshadow tutorial as well as the james charles and um morphe palette so of course it's huge so this is the one that i use i went into the blacks and the browns some of the orange colors as well and the yellow so i went ham with those colors today okay so with that so you guys do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see so far of course subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell which does notify you every time that i do upload a brand new video here on my youtube i love you guys so much um also comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this eyeshadow look and what other eyeshadow looks you want to see here on my channel because i want to come back and play with more eyeshadow looks since that's what I love to do and that's why I actually started my YouTube channel because I love playing with eyeshadow um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and let's go ahead and get started okay my honeys so I'm gonna go into my morphe m433 brush as per usual and I'm gonna be picking up the color you're kidding and it's that nice matte red which I feel like it's like a dark orange it's from the James Charles palette but we're gonna place this right in the crease of our eye and we're gonna buff out the color back and forth and also build up the intensity as intense as you want it to be and again you guys remember you don't have to use the exact same colors you can always use different um, eyeshadow shades if you if you don't want to go too bright so like I mentioned you guys I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend out the edges I'm gonna go back into the James palette and pick up the shade called 518 which is a nice neon matte orange and then I'm also gonna go into the shade called pride from the artistry palette and this one's just matte orange and I'm just gonna go ahead and go back and forth you guys in between the other shade called your kitty which is the first shade that we did use and then I go back and forth with pride and 518 until I am satisfied with the blending and then I go into the shade called sunlight which is from the artistry palette and it's a matte yellow and then i blend on top of pride in 518. there is a lot of blending here you guys but remember whenever it comes to like really colorful eyeshadows you really want to take your time and make sure that everything is all seamless so that way you don't see any harsh lines and then i'm going to go into the shade called benny which is a nice coffee dark brown from the james palette and i'm going to darken up my crease and then buff it in towards the inner and outer corner Since I want a little bit more darkness towards the outer corner because we're going to apply our liquid liner in just a second, I'm going to go into the shade called Spooky, which is a nice matte black from the James Charles palette. And then I jump back into Benny and then blend both of these together. Um, when you are using darker shades, you guys, mix in with brighter colors, you really want to take your time and keep bouncing back and forth with the eyeshadows to get a nice seamless finish. And then I'm going to go into my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer and then I'm going to use this to cut my crease. I'm using a Sigma Concealer Brush. Um, again, I will list everything down below for you guys and just cut your crease as high as you want. You don't have to go as high as I am, but I definitely want the um, base of my eye, my lid, to be a little bit higher since we're going to be slanting our liquid liner in just a little bit and mainly focus this eyeshadow towards the outer corner. 
Whenever I apply my concealer, you guys, I do take another concealer brush, which is a little bit softer than the first one, to blend out the edges. I just personally feel that once you go back in there with um, the darker shadows again, it's a nice, easier, seamless blend. Rather than when you just leave it harsh like that, I feel like you can still, you can see the line underneath the eyeshadow. So just make sure you blend. Um, and then you guys, I'm going to go in back to the James Charles palette and I'm going to be picking up the color called So Good. And it's from the James Charles palette. It's a nice metallic true gold and then you guys I do go on top of that with the color called Stonewall. It's a nice metallic icy nude from the Artistry palette. Definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow colors you guys. It is so stunning in person. I wish the camera could capture it a little bit better but it's definitely one of my favorite eyeshadows from the Artistry palette. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the Bomb Cosmetics Schwing Liquid Black Eyeliner. This one is matte. I love liquid matte eyeliners. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit different we're gonna definitely slant the liner a little bit and then we're gonna take it all the way towards the outer corner but we're not gonna extend it too much we're actually going to stop wherever we stopped um, the half cut crease um, and then I'm gonna go into my Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna go back into the color Benny first and start to warm up the outer corner and make it a little bit darker and blend out the liquid liner and then I go back in again with Spooky that nice matte black from the James Charles palette and make it a little bit more intense and then I do go back into my liquid liner you guys and then I kind of define the outer corner a little bit more and make it more sharp um, I go into a MAC 266 brush and pick up a little bit more of Benny and Spooky together and start to blend out the harsh liquid liner line. We don't want it to look super harsh. We definitely want to make it a little bit softer. And then I go back into the M507 brush and start patting in the shades. For glitter to you guys, I'm going to go into my Lit Daily Wear Glitter Base and also my Violet Voss Glitter. Um, so I like to pour two drops and then pick up some glitter with my brush and then I blend it together with my glitter base and then I place it on my lid um, so you guys this stuff is seriously so amazing it prevents cracking lifting it lasts a very long time and it also feels really comfortable on the lids I can really appreciate that when it comes to a glittery eyeshadow um, so that's why I did this actually last because there is no fallout with this lit glitter base you definitely have to check it out for yourself I will link it down below for you guys and then going back into my liquid liner just to fix any mistakes that I made with the glitter um, and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and dust off any setting powder that I did have. And then we're going to jump right into our lower lash line. So I'm going to go into my Buxom Hold the Line Black Eye Pencil and smoke out the lower lash line as my base. And then, um, oh, actually I have to apply my lash because it was drying and I, don't, I didn't want it to dry. <laughs> so don't mind me. Now I'm going to go back into the color Spooky, that nice matte black shade and a little bit of Benny and blend out the um, eye pencil. Um, once that is complete, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and do the exact same thing. And then after that, you guys, I'm going to go back into the color You're Kidding and buff out the lower lash line. And then as well, go back into 518 Pride and then Sunlight. For the waterline, I'm going to go into my MAC Chromographic Pencil in the shade NC15. Um, and then, you guys, I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Perversion um, Waterproof Mascara and coat my bottom lashes. And that's pretty much it, you guys, for today's eyeshadow look. I know that, that this video was super short, and I just really wanted to just sit here and chill and play with some eyeshadow let me know your thoughts down in the comments like share and subscribe um, to my channel and of course if you recreate this don't forget to tag me on instagram i love you guys bye